YouTube, Mark Kaufman here. And today I am going to be doing a real quick video on my Victorinox collection. It's a Friday night, the baby is asleep, wife is watching a TV show, and I am having my glass of wine. And I just thought I would go through my Victorinox collection and maybe even decide on a few that I am going to be getting rid of. I have a lot of Victorinox knives and I love them all, but I have been sitting here thinking, you know what, I only use really a few of them. And um, I do have one coming in the mail. Uh, it is a 111 millimeter model. So if you want to place your bets or guesses on which one I picked up, just go on, throw it down in the comments, and then you'll find out in a couple days on which one I picked up. But a few are not in the case here. Um, I've got this one that's on the side. I have my handyman, which I have in a Leatherman case. I have my Swiss champ here. And then I have a newcomer. I'm gonna try and flash that real quick um, here. So let's just get started, shall we? Okay, so here we go. So I will start with this side here. And so in all reality, I do really use my um, cadets. I use these really when I go on road trips. I don't really want to have a lot in my pocket. I want a knife that's going to be able to cut up fruit, maybe cut um, a, a tag off of a piece of clothing uh, that I've bought over the weekend, or, you know, just small tasks, open a bottle of beer. So I really do enjoy the Cadet. The Cadet, if you do not know, is Victorinox's 80, I think it's 84 millimeter knife. And you've got a main blade. You have over here a large screwdriver, wire stripper, bottle opener. And then you have your can opener. And then you have your small screwdriver. And then on this one, you've got a nail file. So for me, I, I do enjoy that one. And I think I'm gonna be keeping those around. This one here is slightly modified. I actually did file off the key ring in the back, but this is basically a Pioneer X. Um, the Pioneer X is essentially the Pioneer, but with a set of scissors. And this is really one that I, I usually keep in my tool chest or in my car. I, I usually keep it there just so uh, I've got a robust small tool that will take care of a few small jobs. And that is usually just in case if I don't have my Swiss champ or something else that's a little more heavy duty on me. Now over here is my Tinker Small. This is essentially a Tinker, but in an 84 millimeter frame. Again, I have modified it. I got rid of the key ring and I really do find this one to be the knife that I take on, not road trips, but if I am going on a plane and I pack this in my luggage. This is something that's gonna ride in my pocket. It's going to be very small. Um, it's got enough tools on it where if something arises, I can take care of it. And you know what? It's, it's small things, nothing big, but having something like that in your pocket is very useful. Okay, now this I think is the, uh, isn't the, um, I, I will forget the wanger names on these knives. Um, one of them's the Apprentice. One of them is the Highlander. I, I can't remember which one is what. I haven't been diverse enough with wanger's names on their knives, but this is the knife that I carried all through high school. And it's essentially got a main blade and then it's got the small screwdriver. Essentially, this is basically a small tinker. This is really a small tinker. However, you have a nail file instead of a smaller, um, a smaller blade on that. And I don't think I, I could ever sell that one. I mean, that that is very special to me. Now, this one here, I think this is Highlander or whatever, but it's essentially the same. But it's got the corkscrew, and I have put the micro screwdriver from Victorinox right there. So. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very compact little knife. 
I don't carry a winger all that much, but I do find them to be very useful and the blade shape on them is substantially different than a Victorinox. Now, this one here is going to be exactly the same as those two, except no back tools. So this one I believe is called the Apprentice and you've got the nail filer and then everything else, but no back tools. This would also make a really great travel knife, ex um, especially if you're not really expecting like a bottle of wine or taking care of a few screws. Now, this one is one that I haven't done a review on yet, but this is the Walker. I don't think I will be selling this one. Like so far, I'm not selling any of these. I've sold um, my small tinker in the past and that was years ago. And I decided I want another one. I sold my Pioneer X a long time ago and I regretted that. So I don't think I'll be getting rid of this one. And it's just primarily because of how compact it is. It has this saw on here and then it has the um, combination tool from Victorinox and then a main blade and then nothing on the back. And this one actually is one of the knives that I take out with me when I am taking care of shrubs in the backyard, cutting down limbs, cutting down um, limbs in a tree. So, I mean, this is really compact, takes care of all of those tasks. So one that I've been thinking about getting rid of actually is this Deluxe Tinker. Um, the Deluxe Tinker is like the Super Tinker, except it has a set of pliers. And um, it's one that I'm, I'm thinking about getting rid of. It's too similar to um, my, my handyman um, to, to really justify keeping it. So if you are interested, you know, email me if you want to pick it up. I have removed the key ring on it. But here is a Super Tinker. And the Super Tinker has a set of scissors on it. So that's the Super Tinker. I, I'll probably be keeping the Super Tinker just because it's so, um, so useful. And then here is a standard Tinker. This just has no additional uh, scissors or pliers. And then it's got your 3D Phillips. That, that's a classic. I mean, it's compact and I have the regular Tinker and then I have the Tinker Small. Now, one that I have been thinking about getting rid of is the Spartan Light, only because um, I haven't really been using it all that much. Um, I like having the light, but I haven't been using it a lot because usually I'm either carrying my Swiss Champ or the Handyman, or I am carrying um, this one that's back here. So if anybody is interested in the Spartan, Spartan Light, uh, shoot me an email um, and uh, I, I'll sell it to you. But I think I'm going to be getting rid of that one. It's just something I haven't carried in a long while. Um, you're probably wondering, what do I want for it? I'll take 25 bucks and cover $4 shipping, I guess. Um, the Ambassador is something that I would probably put up here with my Cadet. It's a great travel knife. It's compact. It's got a thinner blade, but this is definitely something that if you're just maybe going to the beach or if you're going um, uh, out on a walk or a stroll, you'd either take the walker or you'd take something like this small, compact, and it's not going to take up a lot of room. I don't see myself selling that. However, I do see myself selling this. This is the Pocket Pal. And I have, um, I have quite a few of these. This is a, a older silver model and it's a little harder to find. But if anybody wants this one, I'll sell it for 20 bucks. It's practically mint and it's from the 1990s. Um, I've been thinking about selling that one at least, but this wanger here is one that I've been carrying quite a bit. I got a little carried away in adding a sharpening choil to it, but I have to say it does make sharpening this a little easier, I guess. Um, this is one that I carry quite a bit when I have jersey pants on, but um, this is one I'll be probably keeping. Um, so, so far, um, the Deluxe Tinker and then the Spartan Light and then this, if anybody's interested, I'll sell it. And... Um, then, of course, we've got my Swiss Champ. I mean, this thing lives in my pocket Pico 
and I don't see myself selling that. And then of course there's the handyman and that one there is one of my primary gardening tools. But this is one that I have been carrying quite a bit and I feel like it has, um, if you're familiar with my channel, I have reviewed it, uh, the Huntsman. I've reviewed the Huntsman. Now this is the Fieldmaster and this is exactly the same as the Huntsman, but it has the 3D Phillips. And this is one that has been care, um, hogging my pocket for a long time. You have the main blade, small blade, then you have a, um, a saw blade here, and then you have a set of scissors, and then you've got your standard fare of tools back here. But then also you've got the 3D Phillips, and then you have your parcel hook, and then you have your reamer. So this is a very compact, but very useful Victoria Knox knife. And this is really what I've been carrying at home more than my Spartan light. And to be honest, it really has um, usurped this in, in more ways than one. So this is the newcomer to the block. And I have one more coming and it is a 111 millimeter model. So if you want to place your bets or guesses of what that is below, you can. And um, I will have a video of that very soon. But this is right now, uh, minus the classic SD and maybe a few others that are sprawling around the house. This is my Victorinox collection as of right now. And it is October 15th, 2020. One. So, yeah, this is the Victorinox collection. And if anybody's interested in the Deluxe Tinker or the Spartan Light or the Pocket Pal, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll sell it to you. So, till the next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.